If you're expecting the $10,000 of student loan forgiveness and you live in one of these 13 states here, you might be getting hit with tax when the forgiveness comes through. Now, these states may change their tone here in terms of canceled debt income between now and when the tax returns are due or when this forgiveness goes through. But as the law stands now, canceled debt income is a thing in these 13 states, and that's exactly what the student loan forgiveness is. And this is the maximum amount of tax that you would pay per each of these states, depending upon where you live. And again, this is the maximum tax. So that's if you actually earned the $125,000, which is the maximum for the $10,000 of canceled uh, student loan forgiveness. Now, if you make less, obviously the amount of tax will be less. But nonetheless, if you live in one of these states and you are expecting the $10,000 student loan forgiveness, you might want to set a chunk of change aside so there's no surprise when tax time comes. Now, again, these may change between now and when these tax returns are due or when the student loans get forgiven. But again, as the law stands today, these states would tax the student loan forgiveness. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more updates, and uh, thank you so much.